Hey everybody, uh, my name is Laura. I am the teen librarian here at the Franklin Public Library and today I am going to show you how to make uh, Halloween keychains out of clay and paint. We still have some of these kits left at the information desk here at the library. Um, and if you are between uh, the grades of 6 through 12, then you can come in and uh, pick up one of these kits. Um, let's see, today is Tuesday, so we are open until 8.30 tonight, so feel free to come on in and grab one while uh, we still have them. Okay, so um, these are our supplies for today. You are going to want some paper towels or just anything that will cover your workspace because the clay and the paint, uh, you do not want to get it on any surfaces. Um, you will need a butter knife. You will need a pair of scissors. Um, you will need the enclosed template for uh, what design you would like for your keychain, or you can design your own or create your own little sculpture. That will totally work too. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, inside your kit, you will find a larger keychain ring as well as a smaller ring, and this is called a jump ring, and we'll be using those. Uh, you will also find a little container of the model magic clay that we have, um, and a little container of paint. If you are going to be picking up one of our kits, we have black paint and orange paint left as of now. Um, so when you come in, you can choose which color you would like. And of course, if you have paint at home, you can also incorporate that as well. One note about this paint that comes in our kits, this is acrylic paint and it will stain your clothes and surfaces if you're not careful and you don't wipe it off, um, wash it off right away. Uh, so just be really careful with this paint. And last but not least, a Q-tip. Uh, or if you have paint brushes at home, you can use that as well. All right, so we're gonna get started. And the first thing I am going to do is cover our space here. There we go. Just wanna make sure that we don't get anything on our clothes or on the table here, that would not be good. Um, okay, so, uh, let's see. I think I am going to do the witch's hat um, because that is the one that I did for the example and the direction. So we'll just do that one again. So I'm just cutting the shape out. And of course, if you designed your own, then you would cut out your own shape. Or if you were uh, just freestyling your design, you could do that as well. All right, so that should do it. Here I have my little cut out shape. And now our next step, this is our model magic clay. Um, if you get yours and it's a little hard, um, you can take a damp paper towel and wrap it up and that will help soften it up a little bit, but this should be okay. It's just a little, little hard is all right. There we go, so we can kind of Smash it down. You want it to be kind of thin, but not paper thin. And the important thing is that you need it to be big enough to fit your design. That is the main thing. So I got to flatten mine out a little bit more here. You can just use your hand or if you had a rolling pin, you could do that. I don't have one at the moment. I think I'll flip it over so we can get it kind of flat here. Let's see if that will work. Oh. Yeah, that should just about work here. So as you can see, my design uh, completely fits on the clay. That is what we want. And then you are going to use your template as a guide and you're going to take your butter knife here and we are going to cut out our shape. So you just kind of want to press all the way around and if you don't get a perfect line, that is okay because we can smooth it out in a minute. So we'll cut all the way around, one piece. And 
Um, and while I am doing this, I will remind everybody that we are having a Halloween costume contest uh, this Saturday, Halloween, at 3 p.m. And that is right before uh, Franklin Trick or Treat starts at 4 p.m. So before you go trick or treating, swing on by the library at 3 o'clock. We are having a socially distant uh, outdoor uh, costume contest and we will have prizes for multiple age groups and multiple categories so that's gonna be a lot of fun alrighty so that should just about do it okay so if we take away our template now we have our design um, so I can hold this up kind of close as you can see it's not super smooth so we can take our hands and fingers and smooth out the edges. And again, if you were doing your own design or a freehand design, you could sculpt this however you would like. Wouldn't even necessarily have to be Halloween. All right, so I'm just kind of rubbing my finger along the edge there, just to make it look nicer. Smooth out some of the rough edges. Here we go. You can pretty much make it look however you would like. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. I will hold that up there. So there is my witch's hat, kind of all smoothed around the edges there. And now, what makes it a keychain, we are going to take our little packet here and take out our rings. And what we want first is the smaller jump ring. So that's this little one here. Um, and so we are going to take our shape here and the big key ring is going to attach to the small one so whatever side you want to be up you want to put the ring on so i want this hat to be facing up so i'm going to put the ring on the top and now you want to pick a part that's not too close to the edge because what we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of shove this ring part way through and then close it back up to keep this ring on the inside so I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm just going to press it in. And you don't wanna to go too far either. I would say about halfway. You don't wanna go more than halfway. Okay, and then I close it back up. And you can kinda of push it, mush it back together with your fingers. You could even take a little bit of your extra clay and use it to attach it back up. So this is what you want it to look like and you want to make sure it's really attached because this is what is going to hold it as a keychain. All right, so that is what it is going to look like here. So as you can see, this is what the bigger key ring is going to go on. So that is what you want it to look like. So you can see why you wouldn't want to pick a portion that was too thin or else it wouldn't really have enough room to hold it together. Um, okay, so once we get that, then you can paint your design. And I have the black paint here. And if you have, like I said, if you have a paintbrush at home, you can use that. But I also included um, Q-tips, because these work just as well. And I am going to be painting my witch's hat using the Q-tip. And of course, if you have other colored paint at home, you can certainly add some fun details or make things a crazy color. You wanna be careful, you wanna try as best as you can not to paint the ring. It's kinda hard, just as best as you can. That's okay if a little bit gets on there, of course. There we go. All right. 
So I'll just do the one side just for time's sake here. Um, so this is my charm here with one side painted and the jump ring. And now at this point, once you have it all painted, however you would like, you want to stop what you're doing and you want to let it dry. And uh, how long was it? Um, it says let the keychain uh, key dry completely and make sure the clay is completely dry and firm. And that can take two to three days, 48 hours to 72 hours. So you just really want to make sure that it is completely dry. So give it two, at least two days, maybe three days. Um, so once you do that, I will bring back out my demonstration one here. It will look like this. This is the one that I made as a demonstration. It's already dry um, for over three days, and this is what you will have. And at this point, once it's all dry and it's it's you know nice and sturdy, it's that dried clay. Now you're going to take your larger ring and you're going to attach it to the smaller ring. And a lot of you have probably messed around with keychains before, know how to attach them, um, but this larger ring here, you'll find uh, that it separates. So the easiest thing to do is to separate that and then just slide the smaller ring on there. And then once it is on there, then you can just get it keeps. Yeah, there we go. All right. And that is our keychain. So it is that simple. Uh, but like I said, definitely let this dry first because if you try to put the big key ring on, before this is dry, you could end up, you know, ripping the key ring out uh, or the jump, jump ring, I should say, rip it out of the clay. And that's no fun. Um, so that is about it. Uh, don't forget to join us for the costume contest with prizes uh, this Saturday, Halloween at 3 p.m. And that'll be right outside the Franklin Public Library. And we will have um, a few more of these craft videos for teens uh, and the craft kits uh, before the end of 2020. And then we've got a whole bunch more planned for 2021. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.